Good morning guys. So I have some exciting news to share. We have the gender envelope and yes, we know the gender and I'm not doing this to tease you guys. I'm just going to be updating you guys a little bit. Um, we're going to be telling soon for a couple of reasons. So Rise parents actually leave at the end of this month. Um, my parents might be going away at the beginning or middle of March. And then Ryan and I really want to do something too for um, like a little baby moon, I guess. Not really like baby moon, I guess, because we have baby already, but just a little like getaway for us. So, and we want to do that at the end of March. So we've kind of decided to do something closer plus my little brother so i don't i don't think i've ever talked about this but aiden so that's my brother he actually lives um on an island on the island i guess is what the better word is for it and goes to university there so he's not home very often um and he's actually going to be home for i think 10 days next week so i think it'd be pretty cool to do it um with him um so we kind of need to plan it within like the next like 20 days ish um yeah so it's not gonna be like a huge thing like it's just gonna be like a really cool celebration so ryan and i obviously i'm gonna have a baby shower for this baby one the babies are so close together and um it's baby number two you don't normally do a baby shower for baby number two you can do like a sprinkle or something but i just want a party for baby number two where people feel no need to bring anything and I feel like the gender reveal is perfect because people don't know your gender yet so um, they probably wouldn't get you anything and they don't feel the need to show up with something so um, I think it'd be pretty cool to kind of celebrate all together um, in a like a big setting and just kind of celebrate baby number two so um, we'll have like close friends and then all of our family there um, and Ryan and I do have the specific way that we're going to do it. Um, this is definitely Ryan's idea and I'm so here for it. Um, and then to get some cute photos after we'll probably have like the confetti color popping everywhere. Everyone will have, not everyone will have one, but maybe like every couple or every family will have one. Um, and then Ryan and I will get a cute little photo. I kind of want someone there to take photos just because I really want to get the whole thing because I didn't do this my first time around so I think it'd be kind of cool to go like all out for this one um so I kind of want someone there taking photos just because then I don't have to like stress too much about taking photos if that makes sense um because I would I want to since we know when we're telling somebody I'll probably be the one videoing and then I just want everyone's reactions and then I would love a couple um photos under the confetti like Ryan and I kissing or something and then a couple with Cohen so I don't know I want a couple ideas um when I do this I kind of end up just doing nothing about it because I get overwhelmed um but I would really would like to do something along the lines of that so we found out on Tuesday so I have Ryan and I's reaction so that'll be probably mixed in with the gender reveal party vlog um I have to start but that will probably be mixed in with the gender reveal vlog so that'll be the first thing that you guys see is our reaction and then um, you guys will see everyone else's reaction so i'm pretty stoked i'm pretty excited i think it would be so fun to kind of just celebrate with all of our family and friends on baby number two and um yeah it's a little bit easier than i thought keeping it a secret it was kind of cool though because it was so 50 50 for us so we were just extremely stoked either way um, so yeah, it just made it all the more fun when you're not like expecting or wanting a certain gender. We didn't want one for Cohen either, like we didn't really care if he was a boy or a girl, um, which made it more fun for us too, so I'm excited. I think this is like the best way that we can do it, so. Okay, I'm gonna cook some lunch for I and I. Or we just came back from the, oh yeah, I guess I should do that came back from the dog park. It's a beautiful day, like as you guys can tell. 
the sun is going down, it's like 4.30. Um, let me just grab some formula for baby Cohen. And um, so I have something funny, like, so I got a DM, so I posted today a picture of me at 16 weeks with baby number two. And I'm honest about it, like I'm definitely showing way faster than when I did with Cohen. Like I didn't really even, I'd say get a bump with Cohen until like past 20 weeks. This one person replied to my story. She's like, you're huge compared to my blah, blah, blah. That's 20 weeks. And I get it, like it's, it, they're not trying to be rude. But I just like sometimes I'm like, why would people say that? Like I'm not offended. That is like the least, like I get a lot worse comments and DMs than that sometimes. But I'm just like, why would you both like tell me that? Like I, I don't want to hear that. Like, frick, I'm just being honest and putting it out on the internet and just, it's good for memories too. Like, it is really cool to see how much different my body is this time around. And like I said, I am forever grateful for my body for being able to produce many humans. But just like, why would you message me that? Please just refrain from just sending anything that's not extremely, extremely nice. I would appreciate it because those messages, I mean, they don't make me feel bad. They don't make me feel good. It's like, it is what it is, I guess. What do you have to say to that? Don't tell me who it is. <laughs> <Fine bitch. laughs> Whatever it is, what it is. Um, how do you feel about gender? Not happy about it. No, I'm not happy about it at all. Don't say that because people actually be like, what? We're trying to keep a straight face about it. I like it. Yeah, we like it a lot. <laughs> no, we're super stoked and I think we're gonna be planning a gender reveal pretty soon here. So stay tuned for that. Um, because I've been no I know we've been getting big plans. Yeah, big plans. I even said I was like, they're kind of like rags plans. Like I like that though. I like how you wanted to like plan what we were gonna do. I didn't even say what we're gonna do. Okay. It's gonna be a complete yeah, no, surprise no. of how we reveal the baby. And I think Christine is gonna shoot it. Like picture wise. Oh, really? Yeah. I got Costco today with my mom and dad. A little family trip. And um, they got them so many cute things. So this is like a cute little book that like has like a bunch of like, you know, sounds and stuff. And then Costco guys, this is like a mom hack. Costco has the best sleepers. Like they never discolor, they never shrink. Like, and they're seriously, they're nine, this is Canadian, so $9 Canadian. And they have like the little pads on the bottom. So yeah, they got him this one, which is so cute. And then my mom is obsessed with dogs, just like us. So she got him this one with like the puppy. But oh, this is so cute. And yeah, again, nine bucks. And um, like the sizing ratio too, like they're quite big, which is nice. So yeah, we get him. He's like in nine to 12 months right now. So yeah, that's what we picked up today. And then for me, my mom got one too. Oh, there's literally a mark on it. That's fine, whatever. I can go in the wash. Um, but these like champion hoodies that everyone sees on like Instagram and stuff, um, they are $20 at Costco. <laughs> and they are like really soft. So I got this like bright blue color because I don't really have much blue. So super cute. Hi, Dal. Dal has a little limp, but I think it's because he jumped into the chuck funny. Huh? You gonna be a good boy? Good the next boy. day. And um, I have a little monkey here with me. He's a big cuddler. He loves to cuddle. But are you smiling? Say hi, everybody. Oh, now you want to give her, huh? Making mommy a liar. Want to tell everyone that you're almost walking? You're a big baby and you're almost walking. He just woke up from a nap, so that's why he looks a little crazy. But um, yeah guys, he is so close to like fully walking by himself. He is currently walking with his walker and doing amazing. Maybe I'll show you guys. Do you wanna show everybody? He's all shy. Go Baba, go. Go Baba, go Baba, go. He's a little tired right now guys. Um, but he's so good. 
he's naked because he was, <laughs> we went to church this morning, so when he got home, I just took off his pants and he could go sleep. Go, baby! Oh, are you being left? Come on, babies. <gasps> Come on, my love. We definitely spend a lot of time in this room. He's currently having some milk. And then I chill in this corner with this big dog. Um, today I'm just like not feeling good either at all. It goes in waves a little bit, so I'll get like super nauseous, which is weird because with Cohen, pretty much after um, 12 weeks, I didn't have any sickness and this time around I didn't have any sickness until like now I get it at night which is super weird it hasn't been consistent like some nights are better than others but today I'm not doing good I was supposed to work on my preset all day so I am releasing a preset tomorrow um I was using mine for a while and then I actually bought Karen Swan's presets um, which are freaking amazing. If you guys want to buy a pack of presets, I highly recommend checking out hers. Um, but then I wanted my feed to be more like bright and less like saturated, so less like orangey. Um, which it still is orangey, I'd say, but more bright tones. And my skin tone is like more to like normalized. Um, and that's what I was kind of going for. I didn't want to distort the color as much. Like I wanted to post a photo and have it like pretty much the same color. Whereas my old preset, it was very like orange. So I really tried to work on that with this one. Um, and I really do like it. I've been using it on my feed. Ryan notices a difference and it's funny because he always supports me, but he didn't really like my last one just because of the, like the orange tones on your face. Um, but I started you can see the transition. So I use mine, then I use Karen's, and Karen's is very blue and saturated kind of, um, which I loved. And now I use more of like a bright and airy feel, if you guys get my drift. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to release that. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and thank you so much for watching this video. And if you guys are excited for the gender, give it a big old thumbs up. And we are like four subscribers away from 4,000. And I just wanna say thank you guys so much. This has been something that's been such a goal of mine, and this is actually my goal this year. So um, I'm super excited to have achieved that. And I just wanna continue making content for fun and Thank you so much for supporting me all the time. I really, really, really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Night, I'm going on the grid, texting back. I want you, hit you up. I'm on the other side. I miss you, miss you. Take you off, I can't.